welcome to this Higher Self Chats Pick a Card reading for the month of April. Now I'm going to be using this deck, so if you are curious about this deck, I will link it below so you can see what I'm using. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle. I'm going to choose three cards. It's going to be three different cards you can choose from, so that's one. See what your higher self wants to bring forward message-wise for you for the month of April. Pile two, please. Month of April, okay. Pile three. Month of April for pile three. I'm hearing let it go and let it flow. So pile three, um, or if you are resonating with that, I suggest pile three for you. Okay. So this is pile one. This is pile two. And this is pile three. So I'll give you guys a moment to meditate on the cards and I'll see you in the reading. Hi hey guys, if you chose pile one, you chose this card. And this is your reading. So I'll put it up here so I don't have to keep holding it. So it says, show off your sparkle and shine from the inside. So for the month of April, your higher self is coming forward to say, you need to get out more in April. You need to not necessarily get out more, but put yourself out there more. So if you've been single, maybe it's time to mingle. If you've been kind of just sitting around the house and just not really getting out and about, um, your higher self is suggesting to me right now that maybe you, you don't have to have plans per se, but like maybe just getting out and going to like Target or going to the grocery store or just like getting out and about and like going and doing things outside of your, your normal routine, if you will. And start random conversations with people because I'm feeling this energy of like, it's like they're, they're saying they want you to like start practicing on how to socialize again, like in human form, not just so much on social media. I don't know where, where that's going. Oh, for those of you that are single. Okay. That makes sense. So show off your sparkle and shine. Yeah, so by you getting out and about and you going and practicing mingling with people, it's going to help make you more at ease, more comfortable being around people. Maybe you've been uncomfortable being around people in the physical, so you've been more like on social media and that sort of thing. So just by going and, you know, doing that sort of thing is going to get that energy back up. It's going to get your confidence back up. It's, it's like... Um, it's going to get you into the feeling of comfort when you're in physical communication with people rather than just uh, online. So that leads me into, let's go ahead and pull for you guys. I'm going to do a love reading for everybody as well. So I just want to see like what's going on with your love life. Let's see here. just want to pull one card because I'm feeling this with you guys. I don't know if I'll do this for every pile, but I'm feeling specifically for you guys, especially for you that are single, need to talk. Yeah. So this goes directly in line with the message that we just had, which is about getting out there, start communicating with people, um, get in the habit of like putting yourself out there. However you can do that every single day, put yourself out there if you can, or at least, you know, a couple times a week. So you really start building this momentum of energy of like, you know, building your confidence up, feeling safe around people, learning how to communicate with people again, because we're all kind of coming out of the like, 
you know, coming out of a cave, so to speak, and trying to, you know, get normal again, so to speak. I know there's a lot of crazy in the world, but I do feel like they want you to start getting normal in your life, if that makes sense. All right, so that is the message I had for you, Pile One. If this message resonated with you, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing, and I'll see you in another video. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. If you chose Pile Two, you chose this card, and this is your reading. So I'll put it up here so I don't have to keep holding it. It says, commit to self-care rituals. So your higher self wants you guys to really indulge in the month of April. I'm feeling that you guys have been neglecting. I'm hearing the word neglect. So you guys have been neglecting your personal needs, your, your personal care routine, so to speak. I'm, they're showing me somebody who maybe like doesn't care about um, showering every day or, you know, has kind of like started slacking on their personal hygiene or their personal care, so to speak. So maybe you're not eating as well. Maybe you're kind of just like falling, falling um, into this, not, depression isn't the right word, um, lackadaisical attitude, um, maybe lazy. <laughs> They're showing me a sloth. Okay. Yeah. Like a sloth kind of energy. Like you're just kind of like, eh, I'm just chilling. It's like, which, which is fine. I'm not saying there, there isn't a time for that, but your higher self is definitely saying, okay, it's time. It's time to start taking care of yourself again. It's time to start committing to these practices again of maybe starting to work out again. Um, maybe checking in with your diet and seeing how you can improve that giving to your body what it needs, you know, some more water, vitamins, nutrients, that sort of thing. Um, I'm also feeling going and getting massages and facials. So kind of treating yourself, but also like getting back into just like a routine of healthcare. Um, yeah. So let's see if I have any other messages. I'm hearing that this is going to boost your confidence too because a lot of you who are kind of in this energy of dipping in this lackadaisical type vibe, by you starting this routine, it's going to boost your confidence and make you feel this whole new energy. It's going to like, it's going to give you a lift basically. So that's really, that's really important that in April you really start focusing on this routine because it is going to shift your vibration into a higher one. Um, just organically. You don't even have to put, put too much effort into thinking positively because it's naturally going to happen just by you changing your routine, so to speak. All right, so those are your messages for pile two. If you resonated with this, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing, and I'll see you in another video. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. If you chose pile three, you chose this card, and this is your reading. So I'll put it up here so I don't have to keep holding it. So it says, surround yourself with your soul tribe. So your higher self wants you to, in the month of April, really surround yourself with people that care about you or you care about or you enjoy. People that give you that feeling of like good energy. I'm kind of feeling that April is going to be maybe a little bit, not hard, but maybe a little bit emotionally challenging at times. And that could just be, you know, just like the day-to-day -day stuff. It doesn't have to be, I mean, it's going to be different for each and every one of you watching this, but I'm feeling that you want like your soul family there so that when you have those hard days, you have like a shoulder to cry on, so to speak, or you have somebody to talk to who can really like bring a different perspective to you to help you understand or see things from like a bird's eye view. Because like when we're in our situation, it's harder for us to see the full picture, so to speak. So like having an outsider's perspective is helpful to bring about a different awareness to our situation, which can shift our vibration automatically into a higher one or a more positive one because having just that feedback from somebody else who isn't in it is, is uh, what I'm feeling is going to be really helpful for you in April. And for those of you who don't have... A lot of good friends they're saying even just family members or I'm also hearing those of you who have pets like just if a pet makes you feel this way or you know a family member it doesn't have to be a friend so to speak just you know that energy is what you're going to be needing in April that loving kind of like 
um, deep connection, so to speak. But you're going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Like, it's, I'm not seeing anything bad. Um, I'm just seeing a little bit of, like, rocky energy as far as, like, maybe some days you're feeling a little bit low. Some days you're feeling a little bit okay. But, you know, having that support system is going to be really beneficial to you in April. So that is what I'm feeling for you guys for April. If you resonated with this message, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I'll see you in another video. Bye, guys.